Today's video, we're going to be showing you the 3-4 odd blitz. This is one of my favorite blitzes in the game. 3-4 odd is quickly becoming my favorite way to play defense. If I'm ever playing somebody that's running the ball a lot, or just in general, if I wanted a, a different look, I really like the way this defense aligns and plays. If you guys want to get my entire 3-4 odd defense ebook, we just dropped it in the Patreon. It's really, I think, one of my... Uh, it's just such a good defense, guys. So if you want to check that out, links in the description. Let's get into the blitz setup. So uh, basically what we're going to do in our coaching adjustments is we're going to have our auto flip defensive play call off. I like to have uh, auto alignment set to base, option defense set to conservative, and then everything is going to be on default. If you want to put match on, if you do want to have your match on, make sure you put your curl flats at like zero or five. But for our purposes today, we're just going to put this on default. The reason why that's significant is because the play that we're going to be coming out in is actually cover four quarters. And if you leave your match on, your, your defense will play a little bit differently. All right. Now, one little thing that I do recommend at this point in the year to run this defense effectively, you need at least four lurk artists. Um, at the linebacker position, that will make this defense a thousand times better, okay? Because you'll be able to do a lot more with your coverage behind the blitz. If you guys are playing regs, then you really only need one or two lurk artists at the really, you only need a lurk artist right here if you absolutely have to. Uh, but again, the more lurk artists, the better. And then the more KOs, obviously, the better. Deep zone and mid zone, pretty much on everybody on the back end, makes this defense really good. All right. So cover for quarters, and it's going to be flipped. And the first thing that we're going to do is I'll show you uh, the three man or I'm sorry, the four man. All you're going to do is pinch your defensive line and then you're just going to move this guy just slightly. OK, that little movement of that player oftentimes will allow him to come through the A gap kind of like he will out of like dollar or nickel three, three or really any of the other kind of meta ways to play this year. Now, if you wanted to save yourself from having to actually manually click on to him. You could just spread your linebackers, and a lot of times he will come in. As you can see in practice, but it's a little bit inconsistent um, in terms of the A-gap portion. But to make this blitz a lot more consistent for you, go ahead and just individually blitz the left side guy on the left. And then what I like to do from there is put this guy on the left side in a hook curl, shade outside and underneath. It's really important to shade this outside and underneath. And then if you want to put this guy in the middle third on the right, you certainly can do that. And what you'll see is you're going to get either edge pressure or a gap pressure pretty much every single time. So this is what makes this defense super, super effective. And again, you don't even necessarily have to move this guy. Um, you don't have to spread your line. It, it's helpful, but I would say it's like not 100% like necessary. This blitz will work pretty much in general. Um, somebody's coming in with the five man pretty much every single time. Now, another little setup that you can do uh, with this blitz would be to go ahead and and basically QB contain and the QB contain. What's cool about it is from here is it's going to contain that outside blitzer on both sides. This is great for keeping the quarterback in the pocket, as you can see. And we get that a gap rush coming up the middle. So this is a really, really good defense all in all. And then the other cool part about this is if we ever want to, we can always take these. The cool part about these linebackers, you can man them up on anybody on the field. So if we want to, we can crash our D line down, as you can see. Now, the one thing I will say is please notice, you know, that as you can see, it blitzes everybody on the line. So what we're going to do is we're going to man up the tight end, man up the running back with these two players. And then we can kind of, you know, craft our coverage, you know, however we want to, maybe something like this. And then we'll blitz our user here. And you see that we're now able to craft kind of a pretty decent little hybrid coverage defense behind this. Looks exactly the same, but now you're just play basically playing a little bit of a shed defense. So this is great against the run. It's the, the really cool part about this uh, from 3-4 odd is it's one of those formations where when you press, it brings these safeties down like super far into the box. That's another reason why I really like this defense as a whole. And again, it's really simple to run and really effective, can stop a lot of stuff. So if you guys want to get my entire 3-4 odd defensive ebook, the link's going to be down in the description for just $10. You get access to everything in the Patreon, all of our ebooks, all of our updates for just 10 bucks. Link down below.